Hola guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'd be ranting about this thing here. It's uh, UPS from CyberPower where I'd be replacing the batteries. And first things first, if you guys aren't interested in introduction, uh, feel free to skip ahead. Uh, Timestamps here. You could just scroll through the time bar there at the bottom. And uh, yeah. So this UPS here is, has been with me for a while, uh, a year and a half already and unfortunately it's past its uh, warranty period uh, I haven't been able to use this thing uh, as much as I'd like to uh, this thing has been sitting around for like half a year already and as you guys know not using a battery that's installed into a unit is not really a good idea uh, which uh, really caused a problem I'm having right now uh, I was able to dismantle this thing earlier this day and one of the battery packs uh, bloated, exploded actually. Uh, it's, it's bulging where one, one side of it's cracked already. And a bit of corrosion in uh, both the terminals, in all its terminals. But uh, in, in regards to the corrosion, not really the problem. It, it, it's really the one of the battery packs damaged already. Uh, as you guys can see, uh, it's already plugged in and it's not powering on and for comparison oh and by the way this cyber power 15 ut 1500e i believe if i'm mistaken exact model numbers in the description field below and yeah so i'd be dismantling this thing so this video is actually helpful for those uh, people who simply want to change the batteries of their ups uh maybe the batteries won't hold charge or something like that maybe uh it's been sitting there for a while and you're not uh like me it's not operating and uh, yeah uh let me just set my camera up real quick and let's uh dismantle this thing and take the batteries out all right guys i'm back uh by the way apologies for the audio quality uh, i'm using my phone camera right now anyway here we go uh here's the ups uh first things first you want to make sure that the things the things unplugged and to dismantle this thing you'd want to flip the thing over it's quite heavy be really careful and there are six screws four on the aft part one two three four and there are the bigger screws and two smaller screws at the front part and you'd need a special screwdriver all right uh that is at the very least uh 3.5 inches long so th that that it should be the uh it should be able to go that deep right 3.5 inches long and the w the diameter whew, the diameter of it should be uh half a centimeter yeah so there you have it and i'm using a screwdriver from be quiet if you have a similar screwdriver that should that should uh, work fine yeah. all right all six screws are removed and you you'd wanna flip it the right side up again and there you go first thing you'd want to do is uh on the lower part move it forward like so and lift it up there you go and it's removed and th this uh, larger panel here slides up there you go um I'd show you, uh, there's a guide here or, uh, you know, uh, to, 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 to guide its way, uh, 
to to make this thing slide up and down you know there's a guide so you, you you'd want to take note of that and and you wouldn't want to touch any of the open wires here at the back where the transformer is uh, especially if the battery is connected still uh, obviously uh, it may still hold a bit of charge in there that may electrocute you so you don't want to touch anything at the back part of it all right and a, a bit of corrosion there uh, that's normal uh, not really the the thing that uh, that's causing the problem right th th that uh, that I'm having <laughs> there you go and there you go so that's removed and let's take this these uh, batteries out it's a bit heavy be careful not to drop it and uh thing to note i'm not sure if it's being yeah i think you guys could see uh there's a guide here where uh you just uh slide the uh, you align it onto the panel there at the back and slide it down something like that so that's how you open and close it all right and let me get this thing out of the way all right all right so the thing that's causing the problem is this one here if you guys could see uh the the battery's expanded and yeah there's the crack there and not really a spillage uh not as bad as uh i was expecting when i uh tried to open this thing earlier and the other battery is fine actually uh, by the looks of it but to be on the safer side uh i was able to buy a replacement battery off of lazada as usual uh, link in the description field below the the the, the, the what do you call this dimensions the dimensions are the same uh, the specs seem to be similar so we'd find out uh, model of this battery here is uh, RBP0089 it's a maintenance free sealed lead acid battery and let me just show you guys there you go so that's the model there and yeah uh, I could simply just remove this one and use the other one still but again uh, I don't want to you know uh, I need this thing really I need this thing yesterday actually and yeah so I decided to buy two uh, if I'm not mistaken one battery packs around 900 pesos uh, again, link in the description field below if you guys are interested. And these two batteries are being held together by uh, double-sided tape, I think. Uh, uh, an adhesive of sort. Uh, I'd be removing that uh, as soon as the replacement batteries arrive. And uh, yeah, and... Uh, I'll just be waiting for the batteries to arrive. I just early, I just ordered them uh, earlier this day, and I'm not expecting them uh, until a few days from now. And uh, that's it for now. Um, be right back.
Mission accomplished.